Hi, I'm QDC. What we're about to build today is Zvezda's T26 tank, and this is a 135th scale. And um, there's no real reason why I, I bought this particular kit other than the fact that I just want to build a Russian tank from Zvezda. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's, let's go take a look inside this box. We have the tracks. Wheels. Turret. Upper and lower hull. The instruction sheet. and the decal. Okay, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look! This is the computer model kit before painting, and this is a decent model kit. There are some great details on, on this model, and um, I really do like the surface detail. It does look really nice with all those nice little rivets. Now, um, this model kit is a good model kit, but one of the, one of the surprising things about this kit um, is that even though this is a recently released model kit, the tooling used to build this model um, seems more reminiscent of 1980s um, tooling. It really reminds me of, um, of what Tamiya made back in the 1980s because some of the parts are actually thick compared to um, modern day techniques to build model kits. So it is kind of a throwback. But that being said, that doesn't mean that it's a bad model kit. It's a, the details are very, very nice. And the only drawback that I could see is really the suspension system. Right over here are some injector pin marks, and that's the only con. It is a fairly easy model kit to build. So I am recommending this model kit for all skill levels, including the beginners. If you're a beginner, probably the hardest part would be building the suspension system, but I don't think that you're going to have any real serious problems. It's time for me to...
paint the model. It's time to paint the model. I already gave the entire model a coat of black primer and now I'm going to use my airbrush and paint the entire model with the base color. I'm going to do some color modulation. I'm going to give some highlights to the model with the base color just slightly, uh, a little bit lighter. I'm going to give my entire model a pin wash. I protected my model by giving a coat of Future Flow Wax. And right over here in this small cup is a dilution of brown artist oil paint and mineral spirits. And I'm going to simply give my entire model a pin wash. I'm going to simulate some bare metal. What I have in my hand is ordinary graphite pencil and I'm going to use it to rub onto areas where there's going to be exposed metal. I'm going to give some dust effects. I'm going to spray the entire model with a tint of buff color. I'm going to do some mud effects. What you see right here is a dilution of yellow glue and water. And right over here is a uh, towel grout in the powdered form. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to apply the glue onto areas where I want to have mud. And then I'm going to simply sprinkle on the towel grout. All right, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this model kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the completed model kit after painting and weathering. And overall, it is a good model kit. I like the weathering effects that I made, the paint fading, the mud effects. It looks very nice to me. And I also like the back section right here. It looks very convincing. Now, although I like this model kit, especially my own weathering, there is a problem that I do not like about this model kit. I do not like the decal. I'm not quite sure you can see right here, but the decals has wrinkles on them. And that's because of the quality of the decal. They're not the best. I use these two products called Microset and Microsaw to try to get the decal adhered to the model better and it didn't work. So if you plan to buy this model kit, it is a good model kit, but I would definitely would recommend that you would buy an aftermarket decal set for you to put on this model kit. I'm not quite sure if there are any out in the market today. That completes this model project. What you're about to see is a video slideshow of the entire model kit, but before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encouraged you to build a model kit of your own, whether it's a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC, thanks for watching, and always, please, have a great day.